morning, everybody. Um, it's a great pleasure to welcome you to the fourth uh, get-together of the Riot Committee, the Riot Summit. My name is Matthias Welisch. Uh, I'm from FU Berlin and one of the co-founders of Riot. Before we start uh, with a keynote and a, a brief recap of what happened last year, I just want to give you a brief overview of uh, um, what you can expect uh, today and tomorrow. So the Riot uh, Summit, for those of you uh, who attend this the first time, is usually structured in the following way. We have the first uh, day um, uh, based on uh, a keynote and uh, a single sessions. And these sessions include uh, IoT security, IoT networking, IoT development and applications and deployment. Um, and in between we have some breaks. Uh, we have the lunch break and coffee breaks, um, which all should be served um, in the uh, hallway. And uh, during the breaks there are also some uh, exhibitions, a demo. And the demo booths are um, in the room studio. Yeah, it's on the opposite direction of this uh, room here. And uh, the second day, uh, Friday, is uh, more loosely structured. Uh, we have uh, in the morning a beginner tutorial uh, for those of you who do not uh, uh, program so far with Riot, can attend this to get familiar with Riot. And uh, we have a couple of breakout sessions, um, including testing, configuration, um, over the air security, and so on. Uh, if you have uh, any point or a topic that you want to discuss, uh, feel free, we will have a poster board later there where you can note your um, breakout session that you want to organize. Um, what else? Yeah, regarding the demos, if you have, if, uh, if you have something to show, uh, just grab a table in the demo room and uh, if you use 15.4, um, coordinate with the uh, other people uh, regarding the channels, otherwise um, you will get a lot of packet loss. And um, yeah, what else? Uh, today, in the evening, we also have a, a social kindly sponsored by Ericsson. Um, the social will take place um, at uh, one of the UNESCO World Heritage. It's Zua uh, Menlina. It's a little island. Um, it takes roughly one hour from here. Um, you have to take a ferry. But it's a difficult um, for those of you who want to um, walk there jointly. Um, we will leave it, uh, directly after the last uh, session here in front of the building. What else? Um, yeah, if you do some photos or uh, use social media, please uh, share the photos and the social media. Um, with us, um, there's a hashtag for the Riot Summit. And uh, finally, thank you all for coming and a, spe a special thanks to our speakers who will share the insights um, with you. And um, definitely a big thanks to our supporters because otherwise we would not be able to um, organize this without uh, any fees. Thanks to, uh, in particular to Cisco, X and Wolf, SSL and uh, Zülke. So give it a big applause. And uh, now I will hand over to Emmanuel, who will, give, uh, will, will briefly recap uh, what happened in the, whoops, in the Riot community. Um, how does it work? You know it better. Last year. Hello, so <coughs> I'm Emmanuel Bocelli. I work for INRIA. I'll give a, a very brief uh, recap of uh, the last year before we dive into the summit. Um, so just as a, as a reminder for those who might uh, not know what is Riot, it's essentially three things. Of course, it's an operating system for devices that are smaller than Linux, so we are complementary to Linux. Uh, but it's also a free open source uh, uh, software platform with an ecosystem of, uh, of tools and libraries. And third, it's a community of, of open source developers. Um, and uh, the way we, uh, we uh, manage this uh, community is uh, uh, of a gra grassroots uh, nature and we try to uh, uh, foster uh, indirect business models um, and uh, be as uh, geopolitically neutral as possible. So these are the essential aspects of uh, Riot. Um, uh, since last year, uh, we merged uh, more than uh, 1,400 pull requests and 4,000 commits. Uh, we have this uh, uh, three months uh, uh, release cycle, so four releases as usual. Uh, we had uh, 100 contributors that were active over the last year uh, on the master branch only. Uh, more if you count other branches. Um, and we passed uh, 220 uh, overall uh, contributors over the, uh, so on, the, on the master branch. And we had uh, progress, uh, technical progress in many areas, uh, including, but not limited to, uh, uh, some listed here, uh, so USB support, you'll hear about that later in the, in the summit. 
uh, on network protocols with additional support. We support new architectures. We've had uh, quite some work uh, from uh, various parts of the committee on the firmware updates. Uh, the testing framework has been significantly improved. Uh, there was uh, uh, large work also in, on the in improving the documentations, etc. So a lot of stuff uh, is happening and uh, we're very glad about that. So what's next? Uh, of course, in and around uh, the OS, there's a lot of exciting technical work that's going to happen in the near future, uh, some of which uh, you will hear about in the summit. Um, there's also the community aspect, so we're a growing community, and so we're uh, uh, always on the look uh, to improve our processes uh, to work better together. And more generally, I uh, want to uh, keep on making uh, IoT a better place. And so without uh, further ado, enjoy your summit. Okay, so it's time for the first session and before opening and giving the floor to our first speaker, I want to uh, add a little bit to Emmanuel and emphasize that we, um, uh, we did have a little bit of a parag paradigmatic change in the last year. Um, y as you all know, Riot is run on, uh, on the principles of the IETF that is uh, uh, um, c um, rough consensus and running code. And what we actually did is a lot for improving the running code. So Emmanuel already mentioned testing and we have done extremely many uh, uh, done extremely many effort to improve testing and to fix bugs bugs some of which uh, of the people here have uh, have committed hundreds of bug fixes in the last year 